Hello, today I will be reading the story, If, by Sarah Perry. If, by Sarah Perry. If cats could fly, use your imagination and think about what do you think that would look like if cats could fly? That's what it would look like. How cool. If mice were hair. Oh my goodness, I wouldn't want mice for hair. If worms had wheels. If frogs ate rainbows. What do you think that would look like if frogs ate rainbows? Oh no. If dogs were mountains. Look at the dogs if they were mountains. If zebras had stars and stripes. Wow. If music could be held. Look at him holding the music. If ugly were beautiful. <laughs> if toes were teeth. Now, I really want you to think about that when you use your imagination. What do you think that would look like? <laughs> look at the toes in her mouth for teeth. If caterpillars were toothpaste. Who wants some caterpillar toothpaste? If whales lived in outer space. Oh, how cool. If leaves were fish. Cool. If clouds were spirits. Look at the clouds. If butterflies were clothes. Oh, someone's wearing the butterflies. If lightning made rhinos. Cool. If ants could count. What number did they make? They made the number eight. They're counting. If the moon were square. Instead of a circle, look at the square moon. To me, that's more like a cube. If kids had tails. What do you think that would look like? Oh my, look at the tail. Oh my goodness. If spiders could read braille. Look at the spider reading braille. And braille is something that people who are blind and cannot see, they use braille to be able to read. And the spider is reading braille. If hummingbirds told secrets. Look at the hummingbird telling the monkey a secret. Oh, look at his face. If this is the end, then dream up some more. Awesome, the end of if. Now I want you to use your imagination and think up some more ifs. Have a great day.